welcome to the Blazing Trails segment of Ignite Success. With me are two outstanding women who have been in traditionally dominated male industries and they're crushing it. So I'm delighted to have Printella Bankhead, president and owner of EBS Security, and Tamara Baker of Baker Design Build. Welcome, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. So Printella, how long have you been in this industry and what got you into it? I have been in this industry now for almost 30 years. Wow. I took a security job as a part-time job going through my divorce, fell in love with the industry, changed my major in college, and here we are. There you go. So what kinds of projects do you folks handle? I know you've got almost 100 employees, is that right? Yes. We do a lot of work for the city of Jacksonville. We have government contracts. We have did a lot of work in government contracting side in D.C. area ah. the last couple of years. We do a lot of construction sites, a lot of nonprofits, churches, gated communities, associations, a little bit of everything, including so, Firewatch as well. Right. So what do you find being in a traditionally dominated male business <laughs> are the biggest challenges you face? The biggest challenge is the customers see you coming and it's like, Where's Mr. Bankhead? Oh, they're looking. <laughs> they're automatically looking for a, a, a man to show up, and right. then I show up, and it's right. like, oh, okay. And and does it take much to get over that? It, it doesn't take much to get over right, it. Right, right. And you've got the credibility of all the years yes. and all the projects and you've all done. the training and and everything past that's performance and, that we share. And what advice do you have for women who would want to get into a traditionally male-dominated industry? My advice is to trust yourself. Go with your instincts. Always choose something that you love and enjoy doing because I enjoy doing this mm. and I believe that's part of the success. Right. And whatever field you choose is something that you enjoy doing and you have to believe in yourself. That's it. Thank you. So okay. Tamara, how long have you been in the design build industry? I've been in the industry for 25 years. Wow, that's yeah. terrific. And what kinds of projects and what does your company do exactly? We are a design build firm located here in Jacksonville. I've been in business since 2004 and we do civil, structural and threshold inspections and we also do construction. And you've won a number of awards, I understand, right? What we kinds have. of awards have you won? Um, a lot of our awards have been on the historic renovation and restoration and one of our most recent rewards has been the Martin Luther King restoration in Atlanta, wow. where we renovated the Anchor home at the um, end of the park. Oh, terrific. That's awesome. And what kinds of projects will we recognize here in Jacksonville? Here in Jacksonville, we've um, done threshold inspections for the Duval County Courthouse, the new JTA Transient facility that's going up downtown, and the uh, Daly's Place garage, um, Amphitheater. Oh, terrific. Okay. So what would you say have been you must encounter the same things Printella does. You show up and they say, wait a minute, where's the owner? Is that right? <laughs> yes, it's happened. Um, but you get used to it. And mm -hmm. then, um, you know, I'm seeing a lot today. They, you know, that's that's pa that's passing. That's fading. It is. Um, it is. So I'm thankful for the women that came before us that has have set have set the path and made the way for us to do what we love today. That's yeah. right, that's right. Well, there are more and more women getting into construction and design build, aren't there? There are. Mm -hmm. um, one of our biggest challenges is finding um, help and finding the people to hire right. uh, across the industry. Right. So. Uh, I know subcontractors can be a big issue, and particularly when there's a boom. Trying to find the right subcontractors makes a huge difference, right? That's right, and right now there's a boom. Right. So uh, I'm thankful. <laughs> <laughs> and it makes it difficult, yes, it is, in your industry. What advice do you have for women in this kind of field? I would say um, just know when to speak up mm -hmm. and when to sit quietly <laughs> and listen, and um, that's probably the best advice. And, and that, that comes with time and age. Right. Well, I remember early on when I owned my advertising agency, I had a gentleman that we were pitching say, well, I'd like to speak to the men in your organization. And I was like, whoa, okay. And I said, well, actually, I'm the owner of the company. I do have male employees, but I'm the one you'd be dealing with. And right. we opted not to work with that company yeah. because he clearly just wanted to work with men. And that does happen. Have you ever had that experience? I have, and um, but you know, I I always am kind and and understand, and most of the time they reciprocate. Right, and um, so it's, it works out. It works out. So, how can people get in touch with each of you? And I know Printel is also an author, and you have another book that's coming out. What is that? Yes, that is uh, a winning world, mm -hmm. and I am one of the co-authors on that book. Okay, it should be out probably in the next month. 
And, and what's the best website for you? Best website for me is going to be www.ebssecurity.com. And how about you, Tamara? My website is bakerdesign.build. Well, thank you both so much for being here. They're an inspiration. You too can break through and be in a male-dominated industry. And coming up next, we've got Success Sparks. Mm -hmm.